Hey everybody, welcome back to Cartooning with Mr. Brian. I'm Mr. Brian. Let's draw some cartoons. Now we all know that Halloween is right around the corner, so I want to draw some spooky tunes. Not scary, let's do a little spooky. And my friend Travis wanted to draw a ghost, so we're going to draw a ghost. Remember the first step to drawing a cartoon? You got to put it in the wireframe. Remember, nice and light. You never uh, want to draw like that. You want to draw nice and light. Nice and light. Because if you make a mistake, you can always get rid of it. So let's start that out. Remember, nice and light. And draw a ghost like this. Do, 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 do. Remember, nice and light. Round it out at the bottom. Cool. We're going to give our ghost arms like this <clears throat> boom like that perfect i love it go ahead this is why we draw with the wireframe because we want to make sure everything looks good it fits on our paper all as well and we start putting in some details so the ghosts are usually wearing like a white sheet so let's draw that white sheet i'm just going to draw around that wireframe Still nice and light, because if I make a mistake or if I don't like it, I can always get rid of it. Cool. So draw nice and light. Excellent. Round it out at the bottom. Cool. And usually with the sheet, the ghosts have like a little bit of a beanie on top. So let's draw them a little beanie. Let's draw them a little beanie like this. Awesome. Cool. Let's put in, <clears throat> let's put in his face. Remember the side's going to be a little bit bigger because it's closer to you. And that eye is going to be a little bit smaller because it's farther away. And we'll give him a big smile. Yeah, nice. Now I'm going to show you why we draw the wireframe. Because we don't want this stuff anymore. We just want the outer parts. So let's go ahead and get rid of that. There. Stay, stay still, Buzz. Don't fall down. Okay. And clean clean up our drawing a little bit so it looks good when you show it to people you can get rid of some of this excellent that looks good now of course if i'm going too fast and you miss something you can always pause rewind it play back try it again no worries take your time take your time now <clears throat> i'm going to sharpie up my ghost and i'm going to add a little color but i'm going to do it in light speed so and get ready. Ready? Go. Whoa. That was fast. How did your ghost turn out? I just used a little bit of light blue because, of course, he, he's wearing a white sheet because most traditional cartoon ghosts wear a white sheet. But the paper's white, so I wanted it to kind of pop out a little bit. So I used a little light blue around the edges, just so it looks kind of cool. And I filled it in with yellow. Now, of course, you don't have to use blue or yellow. You can do anything you want because you drew a cartoon ghost. And it's sitting right in front of you. This is mine. I think it turned out pretty good. I like this. This is excellent. Now, I would love, love to see how your cartoon ghost came out. So if you want to take a take this home, take a picture of it, send it to me at cartoonbrian at gmail.com. I would love to see your stuff. You can also go on to cartoonkaboom.com, check out my class schedules and things that are going on around the community. And of course, if you like what you see here at the show, subscribe to my page and I will see you later. Have a great day.